Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asad and on this channel we discuss about photography, cinematography, technology, finance and much more. So I finally got my hands on the latest MSI MEG Trident X2 PC. Just want to let you guys know that I own this PC now and this is not a sponsored video. So let's quickly look at the specs, the pricing and then we'll also discuss who this PC is for. So if we talk about specs, Mac Trident X2 13 gaming desktop computer is built for high performance. This desktop system is equipped with liquid cool 13 generation 3 GHz core and 924 core processor to cut down the load times. Also have 64 uh, GB of DDR5 RAM and you can expand it to 128 GB of RAM if you want. Also it comes loaded with 2 TB of NVMe kind of um, you know SSD. Mac Trident also features NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 graphic card which is designed to deliver high frame rates and smooth live streaming capabilities. The card also comes with 24 gigs of VRAM. So on the front, you have this human machine interface, which is completely customizable. As you can see, I have set this up to show the stats like CPU, temperature, usage, and GPU performance as well. RGB lights uh, can also be controlled through the MSI Center, which comes pre-installed with this machine. This is a side view of this PC. As you can see, um, you can take this part out by unscrewing the three screws on the back. And there's an air, uh, air intake system that is throwing the air out. As you can see, this PC has three compartments and each one has its own cooling system. First one is the GPU layer, as you can see on the top, uh, the GPU layer uh, with RTX 4090. And then the second compartment is your CPU, motherboard, RAM, and other components. And temperature is controlled by the liquid cooling system, which can uh, come out by unscrewing the screws on the side to get access to RAMs and like other internal components. And then the third one, the bottom one, is your power supply with its own cooling system. On the inside of the top, as I mentioned, you can see the RTX 4090 Ventus card. The piece on the top of the VGA is an air baffle, which is like an air duct on top of the VGA card. So mine came with 64 gigs of uh, DDR RAM, but as I mentioned, you can expand it to 120 gigs if you want to. As long as the pricing is concerned, uh, so this one uh, with the same specs will cost you around 4,700 US dollars. If you're looking to build a PC yourself and use similar parts, it'll cost you around the same ballpark range. So I opted to get the pre-built one for myself as I really like the design and it goes with the current uh, home office setup that I have. So let's discuss now who this PC is for. So this PC has extreme specs for serious gamers, has a built-in Xbox install and you can uh, you know, really enjoy it from a wide range of 4K high frame rate games. Uh, and there, that's where the, you know, I think the RTX 4090 really shines. My main reason for picking this up is to help speed up my video uh, editing workflow. I mainly shoot on Canon R5 and it's just a relief to edit 8K or 4K files without any lag at all. My old PC was equipped with RTX uh, 2080 Super, so this is definitely a big upgrade for me. And like, you know, I'm seeing high performance gains when I'm editing video. On top of that, like this saved me so much time and I have to make proxies and spend hours before I can actually start editing. If you're interested in getting this PC, I will leave the Amazon links in the description down below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support this small channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. And, you know, until then, goodbye and happy holidays.